Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. VPN, then they can probably hold 2v4. Have to see the, the poppy Camille dive threat is big. Alvaro needs to be able to proc Aftershock. He immediately gets it off, buys himself a bit more time, but the Ignite is already taking flashing out away from Bay, but the shield is already oh. there. Now coming in and looking to punish the Camille, taken out perfectly timed TP. Turns that into a one for one. Of objectives being traded here, both tower plates and grubs for Dragon. So MDK grabbing a couple plates topside for the Jinx. Elio, you're going to pick up all three of the initial grub spawn. Grub trade early on, I feel like much better than the Drake, but if we end up in a late game situation, that might change. Instant hook on the Poppy coming in from Alvaro. VA on the way out is super ghosting already. Flash. This is a bit aggressive. If the Spears land from Elioia, oh, but it does. That's the damage they need. MDK uh, from VKA because Lee Sin Ezreal against a potential level six Cassante is just a difficult target to lock down, especially when he already has double cloth armor. And now he might see the redive. VA coming oh, in, wow. level six there. Super gonna be in trouble. Knockback interrupted by the traps. VA, oh. no! That's not how you want to start it, the rocket. Now Supa getting excited and getting the hell out. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, Mirwin a little bit aggro here, potentially even he greedy, might. but now going to go to Pathmaker through. Wants to go for the solo kill, getting away from the Lee Sin. It's greedy. He wants to style. He's feeling alive, but a bit over eager. It's going to cost him his VKE. Okay, we have successfully zoned MDK away oh, from the grubs thus far. Yeah, I mean, v VKE spent so much on this play already. They only get one grub. They've lost waves mid, they've lost waves tops, oh, and I think they're going to get a fight here. Mirwin. All from Mirwin is going to be big, trying to get around Caddy. Going to move forward, going to find the edge. He'll pull them right over the wall. Oh, and there's Supa. Hand deliver the nightmare of every single AD carry. El for El Yoy this game. He's not trying to heavily counter jungle the Lee Sin and get a massive CS advantage for himself. He's trying to just get his Jinx ahead because that's ultimately going to be... out of lane. Looks like Supa just going straight to mid lane. Makes sense, get control of the map, and again, five grubs attached to a Jinx. Four six test. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if they are able to kill Nidalee and get a turret of their own, they're right back in the game. Close. Guri trying to hover in fog. Looks like they've locked up Mirwin. Mirwin in trouble here, unstoppable, but obviously the Camille is still going to bring him back. Likely to fall. Mirwin now trying to get fancy okay. with it. Will dash out of safety footwork. Not quite in range for Alvaro to get the extra range. Take unstoppable, it. though. Follow up is there. Mirwin's oh. still alive. Ball comes in. Connie takes him down. Instantly the poppy goes in. Quick wall bang to finish it. He's sides this game. Definitely does. That Camille side lane threat is going to disrupt so much of what MDK would normally be able to do with a lead like this. So for now, they're just going to focus on playing around the Jinx. This is nice. Keep core members strong. I like using the Herald in mid lane, just get more passive control over the map instead of trying to get that additional gold from going on side. And MDK, not afraid to walk up here. Super knows he has so much coverage from his team. A second charge, Ooh, all two. those little grubbies. Do they want to get a second tower here? Instant stun on the BA. Hook goes in, Alvaro unfortunately hitting a minion, but tower will fall. MDK feeling great for about that. It's really important that they can get proper setup on this Drake and secure. Because when you give away the first two Drakes for Herald, Grub, and Gold Control, Press you Cali. can't lose this third Drake. Right on the side lane. Combo decent to start, taking their time here. Press Cali. gonna try to all flashing out the TP now coming in, but that TP might cost him. Mirwin. Advantage thus far, Nanaway now the one in trouble. Guri has to be careful, low health bar. Oh, they're trapped. If a spear hits, it's gonna be big. Nice sidestep going in. Quick dash out, but he should just be dead. The smite for actual moves be the quick thumbs up. I like the confidence on the international stage, but he's probably just dead. Yeah, he's gone. Right, but Oriana got out. It was a full recall on a bush. Now he's out there. TP. Cody wants more of a fight. BA on the way in as well. Mir went taken down. Aggressive maneuver coming here. No threat themselves, right? The MDK have not taken a single Drake yet, so instead just getting some free gold. Maybe feeling like once Camille gets to two items, their game plan gets a lot easier, as it will just be a tower for Drake exchange. MDK. Would like to make it positive oh, in their nice favor, ult. but Kadi quick with the shockwave there means that yeah. no wave to play on. No, that was a really nice ult there by Kadi. He might be blind, but you can't say he's not confident. No. Nope. Turret ends up going to the Cinder anyway, just 30 seconds late, so it ends up actually being the turret trade. The Queen is mid to late game macro team in the context of the LEC, so a bit of a test here for them in their first plans Ooh. game. Right now, advantage on top side, multiple members committed, no real other pressure point on the map for right Not now. Away. Not away. Over committing the spear connecting instantly. Just one tapped here, but now the TP coming in. MDK have to be diligent on the retreat. Instantly everyone is recalling. Tier 2 tower and a kill gonna be traded for this tier 1 tower. Shogun is at least firing back. Yeah, probably cast your curse to macro a little when bit. When they there. started to push out mid lane, already VKE were on the side lanes. You can see that entire bot lane wave getting deleted. They're losing gold just to be here. MDK conceding a couple waves, conceding some prime on the map. Committing a lot, but now, oh my god, the magic damage is massive, and now Shogun's been caught out as well! He doesn't even have room to play the game! VKE couldn't find the angle to force a fight! Can 
even find the angle to group up and fight together. Cotty getting nothing done. Supa finding the kill. MK, MDK fully confident in their ability to execute. Baron, this is a bit dicey. Curry is here. Flash smite available. Fresh guy with the initial interrupt. Now they instantly turn oh, the on the Lee Sin. They do not want to let them get the steal. BA trying to buy as much space as he can for his jungler to escape. Thus far, what's the rocket? He can feel the wind on his backside. Uh, this was a ravenous Hydra game, but this might Baron. just be a cheeky Baron. Baron game. TP coming in. Full 5v5 ready. VKE are going to get this objective. Elio has no way in. Mirwan getting cheeky. He cannot steal this and they'll walk away. Like Nautilus, Cassante, they can actually still mow through VKE in team fights. Well, and essentially, Hoppy, yeah. uh, outside of the, you know, the Archangel's passive. So they're very vulnerable. A single Jinx reset. Yeah. will allow Supa to take over a team fight immediately. But as you highlighted so well, that's the big scary case for VKE is Syndra pops somebody, gets Jinx a reset, and then the fight is immediately over. Yeah, this is it though. You can see VKE in the river, but they're not able to hold the bush. So, oh, yeah, instant pick. Yeah, full confidence. Supa now going in. Fresh Galley retreating. BA picked off. VKE spending a bit too much effort setting up these traps, looking for these flank angles, and just not bringing enough members to the play. Gurry oh! will take the objective, bringing them up to soul point. Man. Now gonna make his way over the time. In the meantime, Shogun now trying to get out. Not away, getting the kill back. Freskawi taking out of the equation. Gurry coming around the corner. Shogun, Mirwin going all out. Can he take down two? Dashing forward, now has to backstep. Is no it still way. gonna cancel the all ones? Keep going, Gurry's still alive. Gurry's still healing, the extra healing coming in. And so much work. It's such an incredible moment, but it doesn't matter because Supa is still alive. The Jinx still there. The job. What is going on, Dracos? This was now a four for two. <laughs> the Drake ends up going to VKE, and Nataway might actually get the tier two mid. He's gonna get it, he's gonna walk away. Quick hook shot out. Worlds, baby! The fight. We really have to watch Camille here. That's, that that's trap a nice trap if it found him. Otherwise, he still wants to control that zone there. There's not enough wards for Mad to actually stop him from being here. Mirwan trying to mark him, but he's jumped on now. Mirwan not unkillable. It's a matter of time before that life bar is just going to be deleted. Poppy ready to disengage the play. VKE uncertain if they can go for the finish here. Go for the kill. <laughs> I mean, that, Drake's, Drake's up now. Mirwan has to base TP to get back. Shogun getting chunked out. Mirwan canceled. Oh, Excellent all coming in from Shogun. He's been so clutch for this team so many times in there. Giving them the advantage. Flip it. Mirwin with the TP. It. Alvaro going in. Nice look to start things off. Cotty gonna get deleted. That's what they needed. Now Jinx finding the reset, but no immediate targets hit. BKE immediately retreating. Might just be able to go for the 50 50 here. El Yoya hovering. They're not gonna hit the objective. They know it's instead about the fight. Not away. Caught out. CC locked down. No. X deck ultimatum. Not enough. Shutdown coming through clutch for the Syndra. Dragon going down for MDK. Good discipline in the moment, but they want to go quick. They want to go for the end. An immediate TP to the top side. Frescaui wants this tower at the very least. Maybe even the inhibitor to follow. Those are really long. Death timers on the Orianna and the Camille. That was a nice patient fight there by Mad. So it's still 3v5. This is at least two inhibitor turns. They don't really have any good wave clear. They don't really have any good way to stop this push. And Supa is incredibly powerful. Reset's going to be coming through for all of these little objectives. Still dead. They could go for it. Alvaro hooking in. Knock back onto Supa is big. It'll at least buy them a bit more space, a bit more time. Gurry debating if he wants to follow up. Sonic wave hits. The resonating strike not going to come through. Now away 22 seconds. Nine for Cotty. Shockwave will be big here. Mirwan isolated, Stunned? Shogun caught out, Rocket to finish the job! Another kill comes through, surely this is the end for VKE in game one. Cotty here, the last stand, and are they confident to keep pushing? Camille, four seconds away, Nanaway still incredibly powerful, Shockwave there. Nice Cotty locked up, the hook into the spear buys him a bit more space. Nanaway once again rooted, once again CC, but this time he's able to get the ult off, and El Yoya just gets deleted. True damage coming through with the blade legs. Not doing enough work. Pullback from here when it's good. Hook shot wall die, but the only so place strong. left for VKE is the fountain of Supa. Wants Ooh. another kill. Flashes in with confidence. He might not find the kill, but he damn well will get the game. MDK strike first. And this yeah, the amount of CC you're actually mitigating here isn't incredibly high. Now that the rail's locked in, it's a bit of a different story. But Alistair, the hover on the opposite then, side. Alvaro finds the jungler. Harass him if he can, actually. This could be a big win if he just walks into this bush. Now, bro. Try and push him off. He doesn't have smite. Yeah, on the way down. That's an ignite already ticking. Aftershock damage is gonna come in, but Gurry, quick flash, quick fingers. Means he'll I mean, make it out of that one, but doesn't have ignite. Might still die here. Marshall Cadence he yeah, not that buffed. Press guy on the way down. There's surely no way Gurry gets out of this one. A dark sphere, a single auto, first blood for MDK. That's a heartbreaker early on for VKE. Press guy and Alvaro going for a bit more chip damage here. Bacotti there to cover at the very least. TP's back to the bottom side, coming in from Mir one. Meanwhile, TP from Nanaway on the opposite side. So, mirrored start, but the kill's still in favor. Now, Yo-Yo oh, already yeah. arriving, knowing the jungler's gone. caddy has got nowhere to go. Might still have enough space to walk away. Why is he sticking around? He's fine. 
Do you stick it around because he wants to kill? No, no I... slower. They do more damage back to you, and they just get two kills manufactured off of this swap. Maybe more. Uh, Gurry's going to be in trouble here. They've spotted him now. Abro's going to go and going to miss on the initial shattering strike, but that's a level two charm and MDK. Bullying VKE in this early game. 1.5k, 1.6k. Goldie not even four minutes oh in. And Shogun's now got nowhere to play. Nidalee's just going to start auto attacking with that red buff. Flash, he has cleanse. Taking their time. Pullback is there. The cleanse potentially a little bit late. El Yoya wants to it's go fine. for more. Four shot. Oh, level 6 Renekton probably can hold this solo, mm. but luckily Shogun's on the way, so he won't be in a situation where he has to. MDK can't afford to overextend here. The sheer amount of CC and setup is big, uh, but with Renekton losing his entire oh! whole bar! Perfectly timed rocket! Not only need to be even quicker on pressing that R button is Curry's gonna die to a double kill for the Jinx! This is an absolute disaster! El Yoya, Supa, Alvaro just dancing on Viking Esports. And they're not going to stop. Nidalee has enough mod and it just keeps throwing spears. Supa's getting this next wave and they are going to have to abandon this turret. A map state with a lead like this, MDK can do a lot. But Mirwin matched up against Shogun. Shogun not oh. the Ezreal anymore. Might need to burn the flash here. Does have cleanse as well. Q3 ready to go, flash forward. Looking to lock him up, but Shogun clean flash out to safety. Will at least survive for now. Mirwan gonna immediately cancel the all out to get those resistances back. El Yoya caught. Oh, good upfront damage. Mirwan gonna try to body block and evolve the shockwave there. El Yoya taken down, BKE. Jinx. Good heads up play, the rocket not gonna hit either. Mirwan now gonna be in trouble as well. One last shot for Shogun, but he reloads. Now gonna find the captive audience as well. Good punish wow. coming through from BKE on the bottom side. Mirwan over committing, El Yoya over committing. If we ever learn, if we learn anything from game one, it's that Vikings is never not looking for a play. So they're down, and again, they go top Speaking lane. Speaking of speed, two plays across the entire map. Traps are there, but I don't think they're going to save him. Just barely able to walk away. Nine nice away, can't route. get close. BA, how long are the cooldowns? No flash, no ignite. Maybe they're just going to settle for Alvaro in the meantime, but he's got a flash as well. Last tick coming through, one auto will stun, but Alvaro gets the stun back. Stops any follow-up. No rocket so pursuit. Playoffs used. performances, they frequently were. So they were second in winter split with a hot run, and then they were able to beat G2 in that best of five, which is ultimately what qualified them as they're now, going for multiple plays Shogun now. caught out. That ulti not quite going to finish the job, but Alvaro and Supa able to get some work done in the bottom lane. Kani might be in trouble. Shockwave to delete the wave again, stopping El Yoya from forcing the dive. Quick kill to MDK. Kani luckily able to hold on to his life, but I mean, it's Fine a good call out. It's a nice movement, gets him away from the Shattering Strike. Yeah, and I think they're going to be getting this turret now with El Yoya behind them on Nidalee. If they kill the turret and oh, then go for kills, it could be Reset. a lot. Reset, they're going to be there for Supa. Extra movement speed starts to run forward. Shogun, if he gets hit by any piece of CC, likely to fall. Nice Ooh. side step, nice knockup coming for BA, but still the traps are going to connect. Luckily, has the Unbreakable Will. In the meantime, Grubbs getting taken down. BK likely now just at least getting a bit more wave clear here. Going to be able to match Supa a bit more. Supa doesn't Ooh. know they're in the bush. Instant combo. That is a dead jinx. Probably had time to push flash, probably yeah. didn't. It wouldn't have mattered. Need to drop it there. Supa and a demolish proc will at least get most of that health down. Mm. And Shogun too far away, so the tower gonna fall. See what the setup is for the next. But he'll he take it with how much plating and kills they've gotten really the game. Yeah, and of course the match card lane economy snapshot, highlighting how far ahead really MDK are. But Woo! need to see what the itemization choice is for Albert, how he chose to spend that money. Lock it is big, stopping that Oriana burst. And now we've got Bit of creative driving here, the wraparound. Zoom, zoom! Knock into the tower, he's clean with it. Grab it again. He's watched enough initial D, he knows what he needs to do. Will they get back into the Herald? I don't think so. Initial knock to be I mean, it's 45. Decent, now the engage coming in from Alvaro. This is very favorable. Curry now trying to look for an angle, but he just doesn't have anything. Super immediately hops into the Herald to stop any potential follow-up, and the play just fizzles. But they do manage to take down Mirwin. Now it's a reset for Super. PK needs to get the hell out, because Cotty's already looking so far. Super wants to step up, he can see three kills in his eyes, but he's just out of range. Oh man, I mean that play started with Frescawi just deleting people on the Syndra. Finishes his Ludens, has I think level 11 at the start of that play. Oh guns, that's exactly what you want to do on Syndra is look for a play as soon as you hit level 11. And then I was actually really surprised that Vikings even thought about fighting this four versus five, but they do have one locket versus no locket is actually a really big difference. So if it was late game 1000, who cares? But on this power spike, it's big. Yep, and still making plays. Look at that need locket. any money for that, but the locket does mitigate the follow-up. The Orion and the Jarvan molding. <laughs> he didn't use it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it but still looks cool. Give it power. Yeah, you, want, you want to talk about how important it could be. But in this case, it's not, because MDK are just uh, wildly far ahead, I think is the uh, Yeah, they're, they're styling use. this game. Like, this is just, and I feel for VKE, it's desperation. Every single play has a, has a price of admittance, and right now, their base is the price of admittance. So, we'll see if they want to try to go for anything. Not away, isolated off to the side. A lot of resources burned to try and 
get this Renekton down, but with Kadi out of the picture, they don't really have good damage to, to punish the resources MDK are committing onto that tankier target. Not away, double dash out of safety, be trying to get a bit more space. Shogun at least getting one kill. Curtain call now coming out, has to be careful of El Yoyo. The Spears are gonna need to be body blocked as Supa gets hit by one. Last bullet does not connect. Kadi finally here as the Banshees as well, but and ultimately very defensive, very much on their own side of the map, not really able to get into that Baron pit. Of course, we're only 19 minutes in. I know it feels like yeah. a much longer game, but Baron hasn't even spawned yet. When it does, MDK can delete it pretty quickly, just given how accelerated that Jinx is. See if VKE can put up a fight there, if they're just going to be forced to concede yet another objective. Mirwin off on the side safety. is going to use the ult to kind of taxi himself out to safety, but Oh, man, he wouldn't be it. Mirwin if he didn't go for the 1v1 instead. Now Flash is down the rocket now coming in. Now away just needs to stun that man. Knocked back. A little bit of redemption for Gurry there as he turns it back. Could have walked away, but instead he chose to fight. It will cost him his life. I mean, he just wanted to be part of the or club. Could be undefeated Cassante. Yeah. Two picks, two wins. Two picks, two what wins. What do you want? You don't need to look at the replay. That's all you need. Mirwin. Teleport flanks. Looking for the angle. Doesn't have ult. Used his taxi in the previous play. But getting closer, Q3 ready to go. Supa spots Nanoe crucially. Gurry off to the side. Bit of a split use of resources here. Nanoe just slowly getting chipped. The Jinx is too strong. Supa on a killing spree. Gets a reset. Has to be careful about not walking into the choke. The ball will reset back to Kadi. Trying to find a good angle. The shockwave not even going to come out. The retreat is there. Supa resetting left and right. Yet another scatter of the week. Prescowie, good angle. Gurry getting cut down. Flash away from the rocket. But now Supa just flashes to follow. A triple kill. The team in decent uh, position to try and find him the Penta, but I don't think they need it. I think they can end it here. I that mean, they're so strong. Nothing if not stylish on the MDK lineup. His first Penta on an international stage, unofficially, as the timer has expired, but they want to give it to him, but instead, Elioi will say no. You have not earned it. Not official. I don't think they'll end on this push either, but they're going to be able to recall with a huge amount. Getting spotted, and MDK are just quick to collapse on the flanker, stop any potential. Oh, the bounty! The bounty will get claimed, Thanks, but with yeah. the kind of lead that Frescawi has, is going to demand a bit of respect here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've gotten multiple picks just off of him pushing a wave, going into Fog of War, and then one-shotting Shogun. So it's a very strong game for Frescawi. And I think just as an overall point, I'm expecting a pretty good tournament out of Frescawi based on people's impression of him throughout the summer split, because sure. I just don't think the AD carry meta necessarily suited him. He has really bad win rates on the majority of AD carries when I was watching. And even when they beat G2 in that best of five that ultimately qualified them for Worlds, one of those was a Vex win, there was a LeBlanc win, and that's like during the AD carry meta. So Galio, like yeah, he was he exactly. was experimenting a lot, and certainly a lot of those picks are gonna feel better in the context of this meta. TP coming in, but it might be too late. The team is just collapsing so much initial damage, going in onto Guri, knockback onto BA, getting the Alistair away from the rest of the team. Now it's been caught. He's been caught out. Shockwave going to connect onto two. Nanaway is here, but I don't think they have the damage. Now going instantly in, but Mirwan is there to try and peel for the Jinx. Supa in trouble now. One more shot might be able to finish it, but Supa's still standing. Everyone on the team ready to body block for this Jinx. A double kill for El Yoya. VKE thought they had the angle, but it does not pay off. The Rocket, Guri, still standing, still living. Shogun running. The Jin probably not long for this world. Guri ready to give his life to protect his AD carry, well, but end. there's just not enough bullets in Jin's gun to finish this one. Okay, four people wanted to end. Supa wanted to do Baron. Nothing really to be done. Mirwin covering any potential angle of attack for Guri. A lot of low Nicely health done. bars, but denying at Jerry 4 access to the pit. Stops and you can just immediately move in and take this tower. But Guri, you can see the poke in the Nidalee is a big threat. And Supa now starting to threaten oh, mid. Here we go. Guri walking up. Nanaway off to the side. Chompers down. Supa ghosting. Staying alive thus far, but has to flash back under the tower. Split from the rest of his team. Surely VKE. This is the time to try and find an angle. But Frescali, quick scatter. Q3 coming in from Mirwin. Hitting onto two. Rocket goes in. Nanaway oh. still alive. Mirwin taken down. Curtain call there. Alvaro going to be in trouble. Rocket oh, can't save him from this one. Frescali? Frescali pulled back. Cotty with clean plays. The shutdown there. Nanaway stepping up, though. He can't afford to do that. Too much damage. Needed to wait for the rest of the team. VKE slowly winning this fight, but they can't afford to get over eager. That's the reset now coming in for Super. They have to get the hell out. VKE holding. It's taking everything they've got, but they're slowing MDK Ooh. down. Yeah, no more alt left. I mean, Supa is so fed, but this has been such a hold by Vikings here. They actually got a three for three. I think they're still losing their inhibs just because the Nidalee is super oh, sharp. Three items. Maybe they'll have a shot in the next one. Oh, that's Supa. Potentially that's huge. Flash over, no flash. looking to finish it. Flame Chopper, shut down, clutch from Kadi. 
Zupa caught sleeping. Massive gold injection for this Oriana. Baron not on the table. It won't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. But Collect as many objective bounties as you can while you have Supa down. Who cares about the Drake at the moment since that's what Yoyo was taking MDK down? Has been destroyed. And I think the thing is, MDK, you're in a position to close this game out. You should be able to do so to yeah. cleanly at this stage, mm -hmm. right? And I think oh, for back the... here because if Jarvan tries to fly in, Mirwin can come from the backside. But if they engage on him fast, it could be trouble. Nice sidestep coming in from Mirwin. Oh, nice. Away from nice. The audience. Immediate pick on Gori, and that should just be it. That's really all good it wave clear, but this is the third inhibitor likely going down. Vikings just so difficult for them to hold. They can try an Alistair Oriana combo, but that might not be enough damage to take out a carry. And Super Splash is almost back. That's so much pressure on Kadi. You can see Shogun oh. about to fall. Kadi, a good shockwave buys you time. A bad shockwave loses you the game. So much pressure on this lineup to hold the line, but oh. instantly Alvaro finds the angle, and the fight's over before it even starts. MDK 2-0 to start their run in the Worlds 2020. These were the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.